This year's from The Guardian, Sean Diddy Combs accused of not safe for work assaulting a 10 and 17 year old boy. Sounds like probably the worst one we've got so far from October 29th. Let's see what we got. Sean Diddy Combs is accused in one of two lawsuits filed on Monday of drugging and not safe for work assaulting a 10 year old boy in New York City in 2005. The second lawsuit accuses the jailed hip hop mogul of similarly not safe for work assaulting a 17 year old would be contestant on the reality television series making the band by the way they say this happened to the younger kid in a hotel room they say these lawsuits are part of a wave of lawsuits that have been filed over the last couple of weeks or whatever yes that's true seems like they're not going to end for the next year it seems like for the last decade or more he's been doing stuff all the time to a bunch of people and it seems like there's more than I've ever seen anywhere here. Combs lawyers denied the two new claims on Monday and accused the plaintiff's lawyer, Anthony Busby, who also represents accusers in earlier lawsuits of seeking publicity. And they keep repeating that Mr. Combs and his legal team have full confidence in the facts and the integrity of the judicial process, but there's not much else they could say but that. In court, the truth will prevail, Mr. Combs never, not safe for work, assaulted or trafficked anyone, man, woman, adult, or minor. All right. It's just hard to believe that all of these people who come from all different walks of life will be making this up. Now, some people might be saying, but you think Manson's accusers are making it up. That's because that was coordinated and it wasn't male and female. They were all similar relationships and they don't claim to have evidence. These people here claim to have pictures, video, and texts, and we've seen some pictures of the parties. There were celebrities involved that we know. So it's just a world of difference. They reiterate some other charges they've been saying for a while, and they get back to the current case. The 10-year-old boy who was not identified in the lawsuit was an aspiring actor and rapper who had traveled with his parents from California for meetings with music industry representatives. During what was supposed to be an audition for Combs, he was given a drug-laced soda by a Combs associate and not safe for work assaulted by the Bad Boy Records founder, according to the lawsuit. I mean, some of it seems a little far-fetched. So the kid comes from California for an audition. They hand him some... Soda that's drugged? I mean, I could see some of these being embellished, exaggerated, made up, but all of them? I don't know. Why would his personal trainer come out and say that he was drugged and used sexually by multiple people? I mean, I guess on one hand you could say he's looking for a payout, but that's a really, really weird thing to just come out and make up. And he's saying other people were involved, not just Diddy. So he'll name them too. The boy eventually lost consciousness when he awoke. Combs threatened to badly hurt the child's parents if he told anyone what happened, the filing said. In a second lawsuit, a 17-year-old unidentified male said Combs forced him into not safe for work acts with Combs and a bodyguard during a three-day audition for making the band television show which Combs produced. So suffice to say, it seems like Diddy is by when the aspiring contestant expressed reservations, he was eliminated from the competition and unable to return to the music industry for seven years, according to the filing. Both lawsuits were brought on the New York City's Victims of Gender Motivated Violence Protection Act, which allows survivors to bring lawsuits even if the stature of limitations has passed. I'm all for that if there's evidence, if there's some rock solid thing you could present to say it happened. I'm not for getting rid of statute of limitations if you've got nothing but your word, you can't remember what happened, details, you're just simply saying they did it. That's just not good enough in any case. There has to be something. There's got to be some reason to lift that stature. Anyway, I'm not a huge fan of The Guardian in general, but it seems like they did a pretty good job here. It seems to be the information they know that they found. Not really any twisting, no heavy opinion, so all right, not bad. Anyway, if you're not subscribed here, consider it. Doing pop culture, entertainment, all things Johnny Depp, Megan and Harry, following Combs, obviously. If you don't subscribe, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.